Back in 1991, I was looking for a place to live. I was I had ideas about about it mattering where where I where I live to live the spiritual life that I wanted to live. And when I asked, when I inwardly asked for guidance, I heard the words seven fingers I tried interpreting this in a number of ways over the years at the very beginning I thought they were the Maybe they were the Seven Fingers Lakes <laughs> that I saw existed in in New York, and in fact, um, not long after this, I, my wife and I traveled to New York and New York State and other places. Um, I thought the, the first letters were significant, SF, because uh, eventually we ended up living in Santa Fe, and then after that, Sioux Falls, and um, We found Self-Realization Fellowship, and all, all of these had the SFs in them. Even later still, I found a connection with the, with the uh, black and white striped gazelle to the, to the zebra that, um, that Philip K. Dick talk, talked about in his exegesis, and uh, so then I, then I thought uh, science fiction, SF, was related. But none, none of these were fully convincing. It wasn't until I was reading Guru Vachika Kovai in the uh, translation, uh, the publication that David Godman produced. That uh, I read a, pa a passage that Mar Maruganar said, um, was said to him by Bhagavan about, about separating oneself from the world by a distance of seven fingers. And then I knew that was the seven fingers because my question could only be answered in such a way it didn't matter it didn't matter where my body lived what mattered was that the the the, the 
where where I quote lived, where my awareness was. <laughs> if 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 one has to it has had to assign a place to it, something like a place, it would be this seven fingers distance from the world. So this was an answer that Bhagavan gave to my question in 1991 before I knew my innermost self that was speaking with me is Bhagavan. But also, after the 1995 apocalypse dream in Sioux Falls, I had another question, which I asked inwardly. This time, instead of a where question, <laughs> a where to live, it was a when. When would this, uh, this, this apocalypse that I saw When does it happen? And I heard 2022, but I also heard December 30th. Now it turns out that that I found Bhagavan I found David Gottman's videos I found I I I I, I, I started to um, I, I, I only began to understand Advaita Vedanta in 2022. The vision I saw of the uh, of the nuclear explosion over Austin, whether it's whether it physically happens or not, it most definitely corresponds to to the annihilation of my ego. All this started happening in 2022 through Bhagavan. And it turns out that December 30th was Bhagavan's birthday. Bhagavan's body <laughs> it seems fitting that that uh, that an apocalypse should be associated with with a birth because in his birth in particular So this too pointed me toward Bhagavan. He's been my inner voice all along. 